Hi everyone, my name is Sam and I'm here today to tell you the difference between lunged and gilled snails and why that difference is important. To tell you a little bit about me before we begin, I am a watershed ambassador hosted out of the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. This is also an AmeriCorps program and while AmeriCorps programs can focus on a lot of different topics to help their community, this program focuses on the environment. This is also the 20th year that there have been watershed ambassadors in New Jersey, and for the past 20 years, watershed ambassadors have strived to foster environmental stewardship through community outreach and events, habitat and biological stream assessments, and educational presentations. Now I'm going to start by talking a little bit about snails. Unlike most of the macroinvertebrates that we look at when we do a stream assessment, snails are actually gastropods, not insects. They also can pull their whole body into their shell as a form of protection. You may have seen them do that if you've picked a snail up outside. Snails are also omnivores and scavengers, which means that as they go along the bottom of the stream, they eat things like plant debris, animal carcasses, and algae. Now I'm going to tell you the difference between lunged and gilled snails, which are the two types of snails that we look at during stream assessments. Lunged snail shells open to the left and gilled snail shells open to the right. You can remember it because both lunged and left begin with L. So if you find a snail, here's how you figure out which type of snail it is. You place it in your hand and you want the pointy part of the shell to be facing upward. Then you just have to look to see which side the shell opens up to. If it opens to the left, you found a lung snail. If it opens to the right, you found a gilled snail. Another way to tell the difference is that lung snails can come in different shapes and sizes, like this shell right here but gilled snails will never have a shape like this. The reason why we care about the difference between lunged and gilled snails is that they have different pollution tolerances. While lunged snails can live in more polluted water due to the fact that they can breathe air, gilled snails need clean water to survive, which is why they are indicator species. If we find gilled snails in a stream, it is an indication that we have found a healthy stream. I hope you all learned a lot about the difference between lunged and gilled snails, and please be sure to follow us on social media for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.